Hi there, this is Java Jim with First Line Equipment. And today we have here the Tori Pepina Evo Premium Dual Boiler Espresso Machine. This has turned to be one of my favorite dual boiler espresso machines. And there's several reasons why. One of them is quality construction. We've been selling them for quite some time. Very good reliability. Quiet in terms of the pump. Uh, because some other machines in a similar in this class or similar class are a little louder and We have our commercial valves here with joysticks Which a lot of other machines don't have and we have an ergonomic lever that allows you to use the flow control right here for workflow But today we're going to go over on how to take apart the body panels or take off the body panels So we can access the inside of the machine The first thing you want to do is make sure the machine is unplugged not plugged in second is you i'm touching everything here the machine has to be cold so you don't injure yourself if you're plumbed into a water line shut off the water to the water line please okay we'll take the cup top cover off over here take the porta filter off take the drip tray out and the one thing that i've noticed on these toy machines is the thickness of the stainless okay some actually a lot of them are thinner or they're using steel that's uh has enamel paint that can scratch uh, over it and then start rusting. So nice stainless steel there. Take the water tank out. You will need a 2.5 millimeter Allen key because there are Allen key screws and you'll also need a cloth. And what we'll do is we'll put the cloth down, bring the lever up. Okay. See how close it gets here? Pretty, pretty close. But I worked with Tori on developing making sure that this doesn't touch. So, but you're full open right there, not here. So see how far back you go. I'm gonna take this machine. Now, it's gonna sit on the joysticks and you may get a little leakage. So you want to make sure, okay, that the joysticks touch flat. Because if not, you get, you see the lever come down a little bit. I'm gonna bring this down. And I am getting a little leakage out of the wand here. And basically, we're going to just take this out. And now this is a used machine that I've used to put through the paces at some events for testing. Did I see some water come out there? Yep. Okay, be real careful. There will be water coming out because the joysticks are touching. Okay, we have the four Allen key screws out. There's two indentations here that go into the tank panel. And basically we just take this out. Oop. And now more water's coming out. We could push these up a little bit. Okay, if you want, you could put it like that as well. Now, the difficult part is getting to the Allen key screws on the corners here. And those don't have to be removed. They just have to be loosened. Okay, let me get to this side. Okay, there's a little rounded edge on this one. That's one of my uh, techs here likes these with the rounded edge so it can go a little bit on an angle and get these loosened because it's going to slide. Now we'll bring this to the back side here. Okay, best thing is to take the feet off. And then you have some right here. Oh, not that one, this one here. Just letting that let you know I cheated a little bit on this one. I loosened these in the back. If you like, you can take off just a partial panel, but then you need to loosen the ones up in the corner here. OK. 
Okay, and that should be it. Grab the panel, push down. So you're coming down a little bit like that. And voila. Okay, now some people ask why do the black panels cost a little more or the white panels? One of the main reasons is because they're actually putting the coating over stainless. There have been some companies now, what they're doing is they're putting it over a steel and steel can rust once it gets scratched. We're gonna put the feet back on. And we'll go over this machine. As you should already know, none of my videos are scripted. They're all unscripted. And again, this machine has been used. Ooh, wasn't me. We'll start with this side first. Okay, we have our brain unit here. Okay, we have a Panasonic, two of them, SSRs right here. Rotary vane uh, motor, pump motor. Pump is on this side. The adjustment screw is accessed by removing the water tank. Remove the water tank, you can turn the screw clockwise to increase the pressure, counterclockwise to decrease the pressure. So you don't have to take the body panels to get into the machine. Uh, some machines have it underneath. Here you just have to remove the water tank. Great feature for Tori. Okay, stainless steel holder. Okay, there's a poly tube that's running here under probably high pressure. The rest of it is copper tubing. And here is the water tank cup that the uh, water tank sits into. Here is the sensor for low water level right here. Here is your steam boiler with a safety thermostat on top. Okay, PID sensor on that. PID sensor, okay, on the coffee boiler here. Here is your transducer. This part right here, okay, and here's a second one. If you notice, the front of the machine has no mechanical manometers or gauges. It's in the display. And how does it gauge that? Through these transducers right here that monitor the steam pressure as well as the pump pressure. Okay, so you have that there. And what I really, really like is the strong, thick bracket that holds the boilers in place. Because manufacturers who don't do this, what happens is with inertial forces in shipping, you have double boxing, triple boxing, cushioning in between. Once you secure the machine that's really good, the internal parts can shift. And those brackets really, really help. Uh, on the side of the coffee boiler here, it's gonna be hard to see, but there is a safety thermostat there as well. And, if you want to access the back or the bottom side of the machine and where did my trusty driver go right here now there's something here that you'll probably never notice on any espresso machine um, and we have yet to replace a heating element on these machines, but so this panel almost becomes useless, but in case it does happen, and the reason why you don't really replace the heating elements on the steam boiler, because a lot of other machines you're taking out too much hot water and the boiler can't get refilled fast enough. This machine, you could change the water level of the steam boiler. So if you're doing a lot of cafe Americanos or more tea or whatever, you don't have a water kettle, you can increase the water level of the steam boiler and help prevent that burnout. The point I'm trying to make is you see these slots? This allows Tori to make a little bit of adjustments if needed. Also use the frame for possibly some other machines that they're building out and other models by using the same quality frame. But here you basically have access to both heating elements. Um, this is the steam boiler and this is the coffee boiler right here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, this machine has been run through the paces. Um, and from there, uh, we see very, very good quality built into this machine.
If you have any questions or comments, please ask down below or visit our website. We do have a question and answer tab or section on each product that we do sell and market. And hopefully you can enjoy one of these machines and you can see the quality of construction that is going on here uh, with the Tory machines. So this is, has turned into one of my most favorite dual boiler machines. And uh, it's a specialty machine. It's not a mass market machine. Thank you for watching. Follow us on social media, but more importantly, share our videos, share our Facebook channels and, and Instagram and so forth, because the more everyone's educated, the better decisions that they will make. Coffee first, everything else second. Have a great day.